Hi guys, it's Justine. Today I am filming my October 2015 monthly favorites video. It is currently November 1st, the day after Halloween, and I'm still in my Halloween costume. I still have my hair from last night. I slept in my makeup from last night. Didn't take anything off or brush my hair, anything like that. I just, I took my, um, fake eyelashes off but other than that all of my makeup that I'm wearing right now is left over from last night and I don't think it looks too bad like my hair looks kind of like a rat's nest but it's I mean it's not too bad but I really wanted to film this video and get it out as soon as possible because I have a lot of plans for videos for this month so um let's get started the my monthly favorites for this month since this is the first monthly favorites video I'm doing this doing on this channel. A lot of them are like lifetime favorites instead of monthly favorites just because I've been using them for so long. My first favorite of course is my Halloween costume. I was a police officer. I'll enter videos here. I was a slutty police officer and I really loved it. So starting off since it has been October and it has been fall, I have been obsessed. This is kind of a weird favorite but I have been obsessed with like little decorative pumpkins. Look at these. Aren't they just so cute? These ones right here, these ones, they're from the Dollar Tree. These ones are from Walmart. And then I got, and then I have a bunch of little pumpkins and gourds that I got from Target. Like I've just been getting them from everywhere and I'm obsessed with them and I put them all around my house. I've seen, I'm sure you've seen a few of them in the backgrounds of a couple of my videos. I just think they are so cute and every time I go to a store they have even more for sale and they're only like, these ones at Walmart are like $97, or $97, or like 97 cents each and then the ones from the Dollar Tree are obviously a dollar each. And I always find more designs that I don't already own and I keep getting more and more and more and it's kind of becoming an addiction. But I love them and they're gonna, I'm gonna keep them decorated in my house until Thanksgiving because they still work for fall season. They're not just Halloween decorations, which is what I love. So my next monthly favorite is, um, these Walnut Avenue candles. Okay, so... I don't know if these are new or if they're just new to me because I've never seen them before but I talked about them in my fall favorites tag and these are like they're the same size as, as Bath and Body three wick candles like I same size this one is caramel cinnamon roll I love it my my favorite is still the um caramel apple ones that I talked about in my last tag video, but I just love these. I'm, I mean, actually, I'll, I was going to say I'll probably never get Bath and Body Works again, but let's be honest. I'm going to keep getting Bath and Body Works candles, but I love these ones too. So moving on to hair favorites. My next hair favorites is this Garnier Fruit Cheese Damage Eraser Heal and Seal Treatment. It's um, a 60 second rinse out, so after you do your shampoo and condition, you put like a little like quarter sized glob of this in your hand, put it in your hair and leave it in for 60 seconds. This makes my hair feel so soft. Uh, it says for sensitive, overly damaged hair and like, let's be honest, I've how many times a year have I dyed my hair? I've probably dyed my hair like six or seven times in the past year. So this is the kind of product that I need. This is the kind of product I love. My next hair favorite is this Hydrating Tea Tree Mint Conditioner by OGX. I've gotten like these kinds of um, shampoos and conditioners before. I don't remember how much it costs, but they're a little more expensive than like traditional shampoo and conditioners and they're in like a smaller bottle. So I kind of get these as a treat every once in a while. But what I love about this Tea Tree Mint is it smells minty. Like it doesn't have like a too toothpastey smell, but it just, it smells so good and it like, it almost makes like your head tingle when you wash your hair and I love that feeling. But then today, this is like really funny because I'm almost out of this um, shampoo and conditioner and today I was at Dollar Tree. Look what they had at Dollar Tree, like knockoff versions. And I mean, of course it's Dollar Tree, it's not going to be as good, but look. Look at that, like I'm always all for knockoff versions. So I'm gonna try this and see how it goes. 
my next hair favorite, which is a, this is a lifetime favorite. I've been using this stuff since eighth grade, is Chi Silk Infusion. I always go back and forth between like this product and other Chi products. Like sometimes I'll use like their spray repair. I don't, I don't even know what it's called, but like their spray repair or their spray, um, I think it's like argan oil. But I always end up coming back to this one. This one's my favorite. I use it like um, first thing in the morning I put it on my hair before I straighten or curl my hair I put it on my hair I just love it it keeps it protects your hair from damage and it makes it feel so silky and I love it this is just this is this is the best hair product out there I will every time I try using like a different kind of hair oil on my hair I always come back to this one because it just doesn't it makes your hair a little silky without making it oily and that's something that a lot of hair oils really struggle with I think like they make my hair too oily and too greasy and I always have to wash it I usually wash my hair like every other day and with a lot of hair oils I end up having to wash my hair every single day because it makes my hair so greasy you can tell that I have not brushed my hair today like look at that tangle Ugh. okay my next monthly favorites which is also a life favorite is stick on nails um, if you saw my like first two videos on this channel I wore these nails I don't even know if you can tell but they're like these like pointed black witchy nails here I'll take one out like, can you see that? Aren't those cute? And then I also recently went online on eBay and I got a bunch of fake nails just for... Um, these ones I just got for fun. I don't know if you can see with the glare, but... Um, those are just for fun because I saw them, but then I got these ones to go with my Thanksgiving outfit, which I already have picked out, by the way. It is November 1st. I have already had my Thanksgiving outfit picked out for about a week. I will show it when it gets closer to Thanksgiving, but, um, and then I got these two for Christmas. These are only, like, if you go on eBay and search fake nails, you can find these for, like, a dollar. I don't know how well it's going to focus. You know, just like cute fake nails. I like fake nails because I like that aesthetic of having long nails that are like painted to perfection and so gorgeous. But I don't like getting acrylic nails. I don't like getting gel nails. I really don't like going to the nail salon a whole lot in general. I love having long nails, but I hate having acrylic nails. When I have acrylic nails on, and even when I have these on, I feel like I can't do anything. Like I can't even like do simple tasks around the house because the nails are getting in my way but these are a really great way to dress up an outfit and um and at the end of the day you just pop them off so my next monthly favorite which really pertain to this month are sweet cinnamon pumpkin scents um i have the sweet cinnamon pumpkin bath and body works spray and it just smells so good this is the first year this is the first year I've ever gotten this and I'm already obsessed and I've been like, I don't know if you can tell, I've been trying to use it as like um, not a ton because I'm just obsessed with the smell and they only come out like during the fall time and I want it to last. And also I'm not a huge body spray person, I'm mostly a perfume type of person, but I love this scent. I also got... So after I got my the body spray from um, the Bath and Body Works store, I went in online and I was like, I wonder if I can find it cheaper on Amazon because a lot of the times you can find, um, because a lot of times you can find things from like bigger stores for sale on Amazon for cheaper. Sometimes they're more on Amazon, like whoever's selling them, they sell them for a higher price on Amazon, so you need to be careful when you go on there. But I found this Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin Whipped Shimmer Body Mousse, and they don't sell this at Bath & Body Works at all anymore. They've discontinued their Whipped Shimmer Body Mousse entirely. And so I was really excited to get this on Amazon. At Bath & Body Works, it, was, it would have normally been $16, but on Amazon it was $8. And so I was so excited to try this. I love it. I'll just show you what it looks like. It looks like whipped cream. And then when you rub it in, it gives you just like a little tiny bit of sparkle, but not too much sparkle. 
and I love that and I'm not a huge fan of like scented lotions like I think I've mentioned this before but I mostly use baby lotion um, if I use lotion can you see the shine I'm not sure if it's showing up on my camera and so I don't say I don't use this a ton just because I don't like going the whole day and smelling myself if that makes sense um, next I'm going to do a couple of lip products. I did like a whole four favorite lipsticks in the fall favorites video, but um, I have even more for this favorites video because I've been really into doing my lips lately. The first one is Too Faced Melted in um, Melted Nude. This is my favorite, this is my favorite lip color of all time. It kind of has like a yellowy undertone and I am just, I'm obsessed with this. It's so comfortable on your lips and it, it stays on for a long time and I, the camera is not picking it up because I have, it's rainy and dark outside and I have a lot of artificial lighting, but it's just a really pretty color. Next, I got, if you saw my Ipsy Glam Bag unboxing, you saw this, but it's the, um, the Balm Meet Matte Hues Liquid Lipstick in Committed, and I just have the little sample size, but this, I love this color, and same thing, the color, the lighting isn't going to pick up this color as well, but it's such a pretty color, and it, same thing, it, like, this one, the Melted Lipstick, it, um, it doesn't dry. This one dries, which I don't usually like that in um, a lip gloss, but it's still comfortable. And same thing with this LA Girls Matte um, Flat Finish Pigment Gloss. It dries, but it's, it's still comfortable. And this one is in the color Rebel, which is kind of like a purpley, like a mauve purpley color depending on your skin tone. My skin tone, it looks purpley. And it's right here. If you saw my um, witch inspired makeup look, this is the lip gloss I use. Moving on to brushes, I have three brushes that I am obsessed with and they are all three e.l.f. brushes. Um, I have the e.l.f. small stipple brush, the e.l.f. flawless concealer brush, and the e.l.f. Professional Total Face Brush. And these, I use these brushes for everything. Like, they're just so versatile. Like, this one I'll mostly use for, like, concealer and um, eyeshadows and stuff. And then these two I will use for everything. I'll use them for foundation, blush, um, highlighter, bronzer, just... I just love these brushes and e.l.f. makes, for, for being so cheap, because the brushes are only like between one and three dollars, they're so soft, they're so comfortable on your face and so easy to use and I love these. These are life favorites. Okay, another one of my favorites are fiber lashes. I am not a big fan of um, fake eyelashes. Like, I love the way they make my eyelashes look, but I think they're so heavy on my eyelid, and I think they're so uncomfortable, and I love the look of them, but I only really wear them for special occasions. Like, last night was Halloween. I wore them last night, but I love these. This is from Love Alpha, and these are the only fiber eyelashes I've ever tried. Some people say that Unique is a lot better, but I've never tried Unique, and so I think these are really good. They come with an eyelash gel, an eyelash fiber. You put the gel on for first and you put a couple coats well first you put your normal mascara on then you put a couple coats of gel on and then you put the fiber lashes on I read online that some people will do several layers they'll do gel lash or gel fiber more gel more fiber but I just do um, one layer of each and they make my eyelashes look so long like in photos a lot of the time in photos it looks like I'm wearing false eyelashes, but I just, I love this, and it comes with a cute little box, and these are really inexpensive. I got, like, two of these boxes with, like, four tubes total for, I think, 10 bucks on Amazon. Okay, my next three makeup products are all e.l.f. products, and, um... I'm going to start off with the e.l.f. Eye Refresh. I put this on. I don't wear a lot of makeup most of the days, but this is one of the things that I do do every day. I put it on my eyes first thing when I wake up in the morning, and they just make, they make you wake up, and it's so, like, it's almost like a little massage on your eyes. It has a little rolling ball at the end of it, and, um, 
I love this. I use it all the time. Next is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. I'm not, I honestly, I don't know if this helps set my makeup. I, I can't tell the difference, but I'm also the type of person who I don't really, I don't pay a lot of attention to my makeup after I put it on. Like, I just put it on and I go throughout my day and I don't really touch it up except for maybe like my lips after a couple of hours, but that's really it. But what I love about this is I have really dry skin. And I don't like putting a lot of lotion on my skin. And so um, when I, some days when my skin is feeling particularly dry, I'll just like do a couple of spritzes of this on my face, even if I'm not wearing makeup. And it just kind of helps, it helps refresh my, my face. And last is the e.l.f. Mineral Face Primer. And like I said, I don't know if it helps prime your face, but it does give your face kind of like a... Um, silky feel to it and I love that like I will use this more than I use lotion on my face because it just I love that silky feel it gives to my face and then also um, this is like green and so what it's supposed to do is um, adjust the tone of your face so if you have like acne or red marks on your face it makes them blend in a little more and it absolutely does that. I don't get a ton of acne but I do get blemishes and it totally helps hide them before I even start to put um, foundation or concealer on and so I love this. And then these are just um, real simple. My, If you've seen um, any of the makeup tutorials I have up already, it's the Chella Eyebrow um, Pencil, Mines and um, Taupe. I love this. This is the best eyebrow pencil I've ever used. Um, it's just, it's so easy to use because it's such a thin line and it matches. It's, I have really weird eyebrows because I have naturally blonde hair, but my eyebrows are brown. But then if you like look at the root and like when you go to pluck them, you see at the root they're blonde. And so it's almost like a, like my eyebrows are like ombre, like they're brown at the top where you see, but then like when you get close to the skin, you see they're like really blonde. And so it's really hard for me to find um, an eyebrow feel that isn't too dark. And that's actually a big reason why I dyed my hair recently because I've been getting really sick of um, trying to find eyebrow pencils that are light enough to match my hair and match my eyebrows. But this works, and I really love this. It's really easy to use, and it also it matches my eyebrows. It, I just, I love it. And um, I was using the Too Faced Brow Palette, and I was, I swore by that thing that that was the best eyebrow palette. That was the best thing to use on my eyebrows, but this is even better. This is another thing that I've been using since middle school. It's just e.l.f. Black, um... Elf Black Liquid Eyeliner. This is, for me, this is the easiest eyeliner to put on to do like a cat eye and to do a wing and I've tried other liquid eyeliners and they just don't work as well. I feel like I have so much control with this one. Maybe it's just because I've been using it for so long and so when I try to use something new I just can't figure it out but this is my favorite by far. And my last product for this monthly favorites video are just L'Oreal True Match products. I have um, the L'Oreal True Match liquid foundation, the powder foundation, and the um, concealer. And I just, I love all of them. They give your face, for being it's so inexpensive, they're like, I think on average, they're like, um, seven or eight dollars each which is pretty good for their quality they give your face that matte look which is the look that i go for the colors that i use are i mix these two together and um this is in w1 and w3 and then this the powder i have in w3 and the concealer i have in n1 and so i don't know i just love these that's it Alright guys, that's it for my monthly favorites video. I hope you enjoyed. If you want to follow me on social media, I will have it all down, linked down below. And thank you for watching.